Okay, and we're live. So welcome, everybody. So welcome to our Inspired CEO's Game Changer intro event. And um, as the name implies, this is an intro taster session to our Inspired CEO's Game Changer conversation. And you, you have been invited to this exclusive trailer because we think you'd benefit um, and find value from being part of our Inspired CEO's community. And we also have an offer for you at the end of this 15-minute um, trailer. And if you don't know me, I'm Andrew Jenkins, and I'm joined today by my friend, my good friend, Derek Stewart. Uh, hi, Stuart. Hi, hey, uh, Derek. How are you doing? <laughs> I'll answer to anything, Andrew. And, yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Even horses that poo in the street. We had, that was a private thing. But uh, um, So, listen, um, just a quick uh, intro for uh, Derek. Derek is the founder and CEO at Strategic Asset Management Limited. And as well as that, he's also an adventurer, he's an entrepreneur, and he's a public speaking. In fact, folks, we've shared the stage together in Glasgow in 2019, all the way pre-pandemic. And it, it was at that event that I realised that Derek and I share so much in common. You know, we're the same age, we did karate, we, we like adventuring. I mean, just Derek's just taken that to steroids, as you'll find out in a minute. So, you know, hello, good day to you, Derek. You know, we've, we've got, um, thank you for doing this 15-minute trailer, uh, Game Changer conversation trailer intro event with us Derek thank you my pleasure I'm looking forward to it yeah yeah likewise so in today's game changer intro we'll be whetting your appetite for our upcoming game changer conversation on the 23rd of September with Derek where Derek will talk about will talk to our member community of CEOs about his awe-inspiring adventures and his topic will be mission possible, love that expression, mission possible, stretching beyond the comfort zone where nothing grows. I'm just going to come back to you in a moment in a tick, Derek. I just wanted to say just before I do that, um, thank you. Um, look, our intention with these intro 15 minute trailer events is that they are selective, they're exclusive, they're by invitation only as we want to grow our inspired community, uh, our inspired CEOs community in the right way. And, you know, as I've already said, you know, we're here because we'd love you to join us and because we think you might potentially be a great match to join us and benefit from our community as well. And our community, as the name implies, is, is, a, is a, um, a community of CEOs, business owners and leaders. So um, no pressure back to you, Derek. No pressure. In a few minutes, you know, give us a teaser. Give us where our appetites. Listen, you compete in the world's toughest races in the world and you know you give us a snapshot a shot uh, give us a snapshot description of what these events tell and just how tough are they really Derek over to you paint us a picture Derek yeah thanks for the opportunity uh, mm. Andrew and um what, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the mm. fact that we are all capable of so much more right. uh, and I just put myself out there uh, as an example I mean I'll be turning <laughs> 60 in a few months time and th th this this whole mad journey started back in 2008 and and i just want to bef before we got on to the ridiculous races that i've ended up doing <laughs> yeah. in, in, in 2008 um i ran a 10 kilometer uh, run in glasgow the glasgow 10k okay and i remember being sick um going across the finish line mm -hmm. and uh, then walking back to my car and as I was walking back to my car, absolutely exhausted and drained, they were lining up to do the half marathon, oh. 2008. Yeah. And I remember yeah. thinking, how do you do that? When actually I just run 10K and left everything out there. So, <laughs> so, All on the street. So, yeah, exactly. Well, literally. Yeah, uh, yeah literally. Yeah. Um, right on your so the, the, the thing is that two years later, I did my first Ironman. And in mm. 2008, I'd, I hadn't even done a, a triathlon, never mind um, 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike and a, and a marathon. Right. So that was two years. Yeah. So what happened? How did that happen? Um, so then Derek, I'm just going to gonna stop you for a minute. There's, um, there's a phone. This is live. So I'm just going to just get rid of that phone call. That's just amazing, isn't it? One second. Sorry. <laughs> This is live, baby. Everything happens. The phone only rings when you go live, right? Carry on. <laughs> so, so, so back to 2008, I'm throwing yeah. up going over the line in a, yeah. a 10K run. And then two years later, I'm doing Ironman. So something happened. And, yeah. and I'll, I'll, I'll 
tell you about that, but maybe mm. maybe not just in the next five minutes. Of course. But anyway, the bottom line is you've referred to the toughest races in the world. Mm. And I read a story once about a race in the Sahara Desert called the Marathon de Sable. Oh, yeah. And when I read this story, I thought to myself, this is fictional. I actually didn't know that this race existed. And the reason I thought it was fictional was who in their right mind would run <laughs> five and a half marathons in six days, yeah. self-supported across the Sahara Desert, yeah. where the temperatures got up to 52 degrees. Ooh. Self-supported means you've got to carry your food for the week um, and in your rucksack. Mm. And uh, at night, they give you a tent that you get to sleep in. And um, who in the right mind would do it? Because there's no washing facilities. You, you yeah. get nine liters of water a day. And oh if you God. choose to use that to wash, that's entirely up to you. But Ooh. actually, it's much better to drink it <laughs> because you, you, need, you need the nine liters. I mean, you are sweating buckets yeah. out there, so you've got to replace it. Yeah. So the, the thing that happened in Marathon de Sable, it was a real game changer for me um, because I, I dared to do it. I stepped out of the comfort zone because in my view, the comfort zone is, is death by a thousand cuts. I yeah. mean, you're, if, if you don't watch it in the comfort zone, you become the boiled frog. Um, yeah. It's too late. So you've got to push yourself beyond the comfort zone. So when I entered the Marathon de Sable, I honestly didn't have a clue. I had trained very, very hard for it. Mm. It turns out not the right training, but enough mm. training to get me through it. But one of the biggest challenges that I faced in that race was the fact that in day one, I ended up with three blisters in my foot. And in day two, I had seven blisters oh. on my feet. Yeah. Now, blisters and sand don't go together. So what you've got to work out is how can you get through it and why do you do it? What makes you push yourself through this? And every day you're reminded when you're at the start line. So there's about a thousand people at the start line stand, standing in the desert, ready to go. And uh, Patrick, the French guy that invented the race, he's standing there talking to you in French. It's getting translated into English. You're just ready to go. But you know the minute you're about to start running and it's going to be six or 12 or eight hours or however long that day when they play highway to hell. <laughs> now, I, I, every single day, oh. and they've done it every year. It's over 30, I think it's 35 years old, this race now. Okay, wow. it's got a great reputation. But the point is you're out there. It strips you absolutely raw. Oh, yeah. And for a pen pusher like me, because that's what I do, <laughs> I tap keyboards yeah. and push pens, uh. um, this is completely out of my comfort zone. But absolutely life-affirming, life-changing. It's shaped everything that I've done going forward. Going forward, I've done more of these types of races. In fact, I've actually done harder races as I keep trying to find my limit. I keep pushing it. I keep changing the factory setting, the safety setting in your brain that says stop. I just keep tweaking it a wee bit because the factory <laughs> setting is a bit boring. And at the end of the day, people oh, say that. to me, you're mad. <laughs> they say you're absolutely mad and i say you're absolutely right i am mad m making a difference mad making a difference brilliant and if you if you tune in next thursday i'm going to explain to you the why why am i mad and what difference am i making and why does it drive me away from a nice comfortable bed with a cool glass of wine in your hand to be drinking hot water in the desert and running in blisters my god yeah well we can't wait to find out the reason why and also this is so directly uh, you know the application to this is is totally into the business world so you you know you might think well what's that got to do with business it's got absolutely everything and you need to find out why so come along to our inspired ceos event a game change event and you'll find can, out can, how can, I, can i just can i yeah, can i just say andrew if, if the people that come along to it i'm going to give them a five-step plan and yeah. this five-step plan spot on it's the five-step plan to doing the Martin de Sable, and it's the five-step plan to buying a business, selling a business, exiting a business, building a business. It's the same thing. The business and these challenges, and my God, we've all been through challenges recently, yeah. can all be put into this five-step plan. I'm going to give away no more. Brilliant. I really like that. Thank you. Yeah, there's there's a cliffhanger. There's a teaser for us all, folks. Derek, thanks very much. Um, listen, I'm just going to um, just uh, talk a little bit about the Inspired CEOs um, and then remind people of the dates and stuff. So listen, I'm one of 
four co-founders for Inspired CEOs, and we've been going since lockdown one, folks. Um, and like Derek, you know, we believe that, you know what, there has never been a moment quite like this one. And, you know, I'm sure Derek would agree with that. And we ain't going to snap back to pre-pandemic times either. You know, we're in a whole new game changer world here. And with that in mind, you know, our objective over this last, whew, I mean, it's almost been two years now or so, 18 months or so, you know, is to build an extraordinary community of CEOs to grow each other personally really begins with that kind of inside outside shift of mindset leading to game changing actions that create the very future and the very fabric of our business success. So I'll give you more details about our uh, game changer conversation later and our offer too. But um, so on Thursday, the 23rd, at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in our inspired um, CEO's Game Changer Conversation Room. You know, we do a deeper dive with Derek on his mission possible, stretching beyond your comfort zone where nothing grows. And in that session, we have time to build in much more interactivity, some group engagement, you know, where you can ask questions and learn even more about this. So, you know, we invite you as our guest to join this Game Changer conversation and you know, a complimentary invite will be sent to you free of charge. You know, watch out for this link uh, for this invite uh, and it will follow. Um, and all we ask is that, you know, you let me know um, that you intend to invent, uh, that you intend to attend before. And there's a tongue twister. Um, so we can really let our members know in advance that you're coming and, you know, we can make you feel really, really welcome, folks. So, you know, what's more, you know, if you wanted, you know, you can come along um, this Thursday, as I've just said, but also, you know, um, where we, um, uh, you can come along to future events too. And, you know, if this whets your appetite further, then consider joining us. You know, we, we our offer is that we'll be delighted to speak to you to take advantage of free of charge access you know, for a couple of weeks or so, try before you buy, you know, what's not to like, you know. And that means that you experience not only, you know, a few of our Game Changer Conversation events, but you also experience our weekly powerful problem-solving hot seat sessions where we um, we talk about real business problems in real business environments, you know, and real conundrums, and we help each other sort those out. We also have activation sessions on every other Thursday where we talk about our Game Changer conversations and other things that have gone on where we explore further together. And not to mention all the group support, the networking opportunities that actively go on inside and outside the room, and there's a whole lot more. As I said, you know, what's not to like? We think it's a no-brainer, but we would say that, wouldn't we? <laughs> and so come along anyway, decide for yourself. Um, inspired CEOs meet every Thursday and Friday of every week, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's an hour of your time on those two days only. Don't worry about the details. We'll send you all the information you need to know. Um, so, you know, we're coming to a close now. Thanks, um, Derek. You know, thanks for you too for your time to just do this little shoot, this little trailer. That's all for now, folks. I look forward to seeing you in the Game Changer Conversation Room with Derek Stewart on the 23rd of September at 8 o'clock. Cheers for now. Thank you. Brilliant.